This Vancouver Island Report. Good evening. Students up and down Vancouver Island joined others from across the country today demanding that the government do something to end their towering student debt. They say education these days comes with a price tag that for many is just too high. University students are graduating in tens of thousands of dollars in debt before they've even landed their first job. And once they do find employment, they still struggle to make ends meet as they try to pay off their student loans. CTV's Louise Hartland reports. It is a tune students at Camosun College are hoping the government will listen to. Students are in crisis and we need our governments to support students so that Canada can be a healthy country. Rallies such as this are being held across the country, organized by the Canadian Federation of Students. We're asking for drop student debt, reduced tuition fees and increased education funding. Many of the students here are just starting their post-secondary educations. I'm personally not in debt. I'm lucky enough to have my parents doing my first year, but I will be one of the students in debt when I go to university and it'll be hard. The Minister of Advanced Education says students in BC need to make an investment in their futures. Students pay for less than one-third of their actual cost of education, and taxpayers pay the balance. I think that's actually a good balance right now. The new Democrats disagree, calling on the Liberals to reinstate needs-based student grants, a program the government got rid of eight years ago. And I think the future of our society rests on public ed. It's, it, we don't have that, we don't have anything, it's the ball game. Students at the University of Victoria are not taking part in today's action, but have plans to deliver a clear message to the provincial government February 21st, Budget Day. We're hoping that there'll be some surprises for students that make it a lot more accessible to have an education, but we're not expecting it um, based on our already our actions with the minister. The UVic Student Society says the number of students turning to its food bank is an indication of the problem. Well, the average student in British Columbia graduates with $27,000 in debt. We're essentially bankrupting a generation of students, meaning that the amount of students or the amount of graduates able to make investments um, in BC's economy and in our future is dwindling. And students at Vancouver Island University agree and say things need to change before the debt load gets worse. If someone can go down to, to a Tom Harris dealership and get 0% interest on a car, then why can't the government of British Columbia provide 0% interest on student loans? A question being asked across the country that seems to be falling on deaf ears. Louise Hartland, CTV News, Victoria.